back with more North Dakota Today and the NDT Kids Connection. And as, uh, as usual, we're joined by best-selling author and family harmony expert, Lorraine Purcell. So the buzzword of the morning, mm -hmm. something that we hear a lot about in, in the media right now, and that is entitlement. Mm -hmm. Entitlement. We hear it associated with the millennial generation, and uh, there are some that really buy into that they feel more entitled than other generations. What are your thoughts on this? Well, I've actually been working with, with this with families for years and years, and uh, it's really not our kids' fault. And we get really mad at them, but who actually raised them so that they think that everything yeah. should just come to them yeah. with nothing coming back from them? So it's time to take stock. What am I doing, A, for my kids that they can do for themselves? And B, am I bending over backwards? Am I carrying the weight of the world on my shoulders while I'm trying to make life really cushy for my kids? I, I like how you put that because, and, and to reinforce the point to our viewers this morning, that if you're griping, if you're grumbling about your kids feeling entitled and, and yes. things like that, yes. you have no one to blame <laughs> but yourself. Yeah, and I, I, I don't mean to be harsh or finger pointing when I say that, but, you know, it's kind of like... Uh, we feel guilty if we don't do all of these things for our kids, especially if they put guilt on us and they know the buttons to press. Mm -hmm. And it just takes stepping back, checking in with yourself. What is your truth? What is your truth as a human being, as a woman, and as a mother? Notice what, what, the, the sequence. What, I mean, we are the generation of people of a certain age, okay? Mm -hmm. you're, you're roughly my age as well. And, and I'm thinking, what is it about our generation as parents that became so wishy-washy for lack of a better term that we became enablers and made our kids feel so entitled uh, I think it uh, happened when we started wanting to have better and finer things so we worked harder and harder so we're not having as much time at home or with our families and what our kids we've talked about this before Kevin what what our kids really want is quality time with us they really don't want the things they just want quality time with us. They don't want the iPad or the Apple Watch or if, the PS4, PlayStation, whatever. If they want it, my recommendation is you show them how to earn the money to buy it themselves. Or you say, I will give you half of it, you earn the other half. Okay. So there are so many character building things that we haven't had taken the time to instill in our kids. Because at 18, they're going to be footloose. And ooh, are they going to be contributors to society? Or are they going to be takers? Okay, I, I, let's go back to when you said take stock of what you, uh, how you raised your child and things, and taking that mental inventory. Mm -hmm. but, but, but like you said, by the time they're 18, you really can't go yeah. back and say woulda, coulda, shoulda. Mm -hmm. So hypothetically, they're teens. And how do we combat that sense of entitlement when they've reached the teen years? Well, that's when I personally hired a parent mentor because I'm like, oh, my son's 14, I have four more years. I don't even have a clue what to do in these next four years to make sure he's prepared. Mm -hmm. So I hired a, a parent mentor. I got myself into counseling to make sure I could do the heavy lifting for the last four years. So the earlier you can do it, the better. The earlier you can start, the better. Okay. If it is older, you might just need to stop and have a talk with your child and go, you know what, I've made a horrible mistake. All right, or they could pick up the phone and call you. Yeah, they can call me, 808-936-4370. I'll right. pick up the phone, we'll chat, I'll guide you through how to maneuver this. So, yeah, okay. it's not too late, but mostly I want you to pay attention to your own truth inside. How are you feeling about this situation? And if you've got a minute, they can go on your website, stopyellingatyourkids.com. Yes, yes, stopyellingatyourkids.com. Dot, dot com. Com. Pick up my free 50-page ebook with tons of tips on how to Stay tuned to yourself All as right. a parent. Very good. Lorraine, as usual, thank you so much. Thanks, Kevin. All right, and we'll be right back with more North Dakota Today. Mm -hmm.